Hello guys and one CC here doing another TF2 video and today we're about doing more engineer videos because I haven't done one in ages and I'm an NG main so this is a bit a bit weird. Me me not doing NG videos. So today we're going to talk about the Widowmaker and the shotgun. And uh, most importantly this is gonna be a two well it's not gonna be a two part, but it's kind of part of a series of two. So this video is gonna be about when to use the Widowmaker and when to use the shotgun. And the other video, the next video is going to be a video on when to use other primary weapons. I just thought I'd go into a bit more detail on the Widowmaker as it's a more, it's a bit more different as a, um, as a weapon. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I have uh, I have three points that I work off of. Excuse me, when I use the Widowmaker and if I should use it. Okay, so I'm just going to go straight into it. So my first point. Can I or should I use this weapon? Now, what I mean by that is, which kind of links on to the other video, like the next one that will come out in a few days. Can I? Um, um, is my accuracy good enough to use the Widowmaker? So, for those of you that don't know, the Widowmaker is a shotgun for the engineer. But instead of working like the stock shotgun, when you hit a target, you gain metal. When you shoot, you also use metal and you can actually get a return from this and come back with more metal than you started with with a very minor um, damage decrease and uh, some other negatives that don't really matter but um, so you have to ask yourself can you hit the shots because you know you don't have to reload the weapon it just works off your metal but if you're not landing all enough of the shots to have enough ammo to keep firing and keep killing you shouldn't be using it. It, it. it teaches you how to use a shotgun excellently and it's really really good for practice but if you can't use it then don't. Go and train with it on a community map instead of casual or competitive mode because people are just going to hate you for that. That's how it is. Uh, even then, if you can use a weapon, doesn't mean you always should. For example, my main weapon is the Rescue Ranger. I haven't got the most kills with it but it's by far my most used for the engineer because it's the best tool for the engineer and the, obviously the engineer is more of a support class and a defense class but it can be played offensively so you know supporting the team and making sure that your team is you know got a good backup is very very important now um now on to point two ammo availability now this is your biggest question so okay Point one, success. You uh, you've you've you can use the Widowmaker. Your your accuracy is good enough, and uh, it's a decent decent team that you're not going to need to use any other primary weapon depending on your circumstance. Do you actually have the ammo available to be using a weapon as wasteful as the Widowmaker? Now a lot of people don't realise but you're going to burn through ammo, you can burn through ammo so so quickly if you're not hitting enough shots, which happens with anyone, you can always miss a shot, it's really easy, but unless you have like a hack. But if the map is really really low on ammo, in fact week 2 of um, 9v9 Highlander in the UGC league, I asked my teammates, I was like should I use shotgun or should I use Widowmaker? And I, I kind of thought through, I was like, well, it's going to be a shotgun because this map has very, it's got one metal pack on it that's a full metal and that's in the death zone in the middle and the others are way back. So think about the map, think about what metal you have available. It's the same with wrenches. Um, if you don't have much metal available, don't go for it. Or even if you know, if you have a strong nest, you might be able to go for it because you've got a level 3 dispenser going up in the background. Little things like that determine a lot on uh, whether or whether or not you should use a Widowmaker. That's kind of the main point right in the middle. Do you have the ammo and do you have the accuracy? Point three, defense or offense. Now this kind of comes more into play with point one. So I I only really use the Widowmaker when I'm playing offense. Mini sentry is 100 points. Plop a mini sentry down. In fact, another bonus of the Widowmaker if you're attacking someone <coughs> excuse me that your mini sentry is you get a 10% damage buff or I think it's 10% or more and <coughs> oh god and if that and so, so you've got 100 metal left 
you can still shoot after placing down a mini sentry that's gunning someone down. You can finish them off, get your metal back and even more metal back. And if that mini sentry goes down, you can place another and you can carry on. It's an infinite cycle of mini sentry hell. Now, I I don't use it for offence for the really simple reason. On offence, uh, on def defence even, on defence your main focus is your buildings. On off offence, it's about getting your team up, it's about getting your gear up, it's about just pushing forward and you really need to cons you really don't need to conserve metal it's all about just pushing and hammering on and killing as many as you can typically with a gunslinger whereas when you're on the defense you can't be wasting metal you gotta be building your sentry up making sure your sentry's on full health make sure your teleport is good make sure your teleport is full level make sure def your, your dispenser is okay making sure your dispenser is full level and it's a lot of metal, so you don't want to be wasting that on a pesky spy that you could have shotgun down, wrenched down. Hell, you could have pompsoned him down if you were that type of person. Anyway, this was just a short little video for once on uh, how to um, decide whether you should use the Widowmaker or the shotgun. I uh, This is kind of what I follow, it's a three point system, so I'll go over it again. Can you and should you use another gun? Uh, number two, ammo availability, free defense or offense. Remember these points, and it is what will get you through um, through this TF2 universe. And uh, if you enjoyed the video or agree with me, please like it and uh, comment what you think. I have been 11CC, the uh, the NG main. I'm not. I was going to make an Uncle Dane joke. I can't bring myself to it. Adios, amigos.